you get shot or stabbed in the lungs, a medic might jab a needle into your chest. And the reason is the entrance wound won't let air out. It acts like a one-way valve. And since your lung is injured too, with every single breath you take, air is leaking out of it and into your chest cavity, right? So then pressure builds up within your chest and it starts to crush your lung. Basically, that's what a collapsed lung is. And that's why the medic, she's going to pierce the chest and leave behind a hollow plastic tube to release that trapped air. It's like popping a tire before it explodes. Inside an ink tag are tiny glass vials filled with ink. But the thing is, those vials sit under spring-loaded pins. If you try to drill or force the tag open, that pin's going to shift and shatter the vial. And then the ink spills out really fast. And it's no ordinary ink. It's made to never wash out. Some people think they can outsmart it by freezing the ink tag, but actually freezing makes the glass vials more brittle. So one wrong move, they're gonna shatter even faster. And that ink is designed to stay liquid even in cold temperature. It's not gonna freeze, subscribe. Let's say you accidentally swallowed your tooth. Well, your tooth is made of enamel and dentin, which are super hard materials. So your stomach acid can't break it down. Basically, it's gonna travel like a small rock through your digestive tract and you'll poop it out within one to three days. But if it doesn't pass after three to four days, a doctor may use an x-ray to track it. Every human gives off a faint invisible glow. It's kind of like a dim light bulb that you can't see. I'm not talking about heat dissipation here, but a chemical light. You can't see it with your naked eye because it's a thousand times weaker than what your eyes can detect. And it's called biophoton emission. It comes from chemical reactions in your cells as they burn energy. Your glow changes throughout the day and it's brightest around your face and fades while you sleep. The thing is, the moment you die, that glow stops almost instantly. No energy, no reaction, no light. Some animals might see our glow, but we just don't know yet. If your shoulder belt sits too low, it can't restrain you effectively during a crash. But if it sits too high, then it can press against your neck and increase your chance of neck injury. The optimal height is when it rests near your collarbone because then it can distribute the force across your chest rather than your neck or abdomen. Drive safe. Crocodile versus alligator, guess who wins? Well, the alligator bites with 2,900 pounds of pressure. That's like having a pickup truck slam down on your arm. But the crocodile, it bites with 3,700 pounds. That's more force than a great white shark. But the thing is, alligators are pretty chill. They try to avoid fights. But the crocodile, it's gonna go for the kill, especially if it's the saltwater kind. Subscribe. Crocodile versus elephant, guess who wins? The crocodile has incredible bite power. If it grabs the elephant's trunk, that could be catastrophic. But the elephant has powerful legs. Its force is like a small car collision, so it can crush the croc and get away. That's why in the animal kingdom, they're both smart enough to avoid direct confrontation. When you break a bone, your body starts forming a blood clot around the break, right? Kind of like a natural bandage. And then special cells form a soft callus around the fracture. And then when you get a cast, that cast immobilizes your bone, meaning it keeps it aligned. And that's key because bone cells need a stable environment in order to reconnect. And then over some weeks, the soft callus gets replaced with new hard bone. But if you ignore a broken bone and don't get a cast, well then subscribe to hear what happens next. If your cat eats chocolate, that could be his last snack. Even half an ounce, basically two bites, can be dangerous. The difference between you and your cat is that you can metabolize theobromine pretty fast, but your cat metabolizes it 20 times slower, so it remains in his system in higher concentration. And that's why his heart rate will spike uncontrollably. He's gonna start having seizures, and it can be fatal within a few hours. The crocodile can launch his entire body six feet straight out of the water. No running start, just raw power. The thing is, its tail works like a giant spring. It pushes hard against the water, then rockets up like a missile. And it does that to grab a bird or even a monkey from a low branch. And it barely makes a splash doing it. It doesn't need to see you. It can feel you. And it can track you even in pitch black, muddy water. The thing is, it has tiny pressure sensors on its jaw, which can pick up the tiniest ripples like sonar. One splash or even a footstep near the riverbank and it's locked on. And that's how the crocodile can strike with perfect timing. Only the male is called a peacock. The female is actually called a pea hen. A male donkey is called a jack and the female is called a jenny. A male goat is called a billy. A male fox, that's a tot. A male cat is a tom, but penguins, they're penguins whether they're male or female. And by the way, it's espresso, not expresso. Mercury and Venus have zero moons. The earth, as you know, has one faithful moon. Mars has two tiny moons. They're too small for gravity to pull them into a spherical shape, and that's why they look like lumpy potatoes. Neptune has 16 moons. Uranus has 28. Jupiter has 97 moons. 
but the crown goes to Saturn, which has 274 moons. 30,000 tiny infrared dots get projected onto your face. Your phone's camera scans your unique 3D facial structure, not just the surface details. And it builds a depth map that works even in the dark or from different angles. So then your facial model gets encrypted and stored locally on your device. And each time you unlock your phone, it compares a fresh scan to that stored model. They say the odds of a random person unlocking your phone with Face ID is about one in a million. But if you have a twin, grow a beard, or die even, well then subscribe to hear if Face ID still works. An MRI machine can rip metal out of your body at 25,000 times Earth's magnetic pull. So can it yank out your metal tooth crown? Well, the thing is, most modern crowns use non-magnetic alloys like zirconia, gold, palladium. Those don't really pose an issue, but if your crown is older and made of magnetic metals, well, then you might feel mild heating and pressure during the scan. But most likely, it's not going to fly out because it's too small and tightly bonded to your tooth. The mustard seed is mentioned as the tiniest of all seeds in the Bible, but actually, some orchid seeds are smaller than dust. The thing is, the mustard seed was the smallest seed known and commonly planted in Bible time. It's about one millimeter in size. That's smaller than a wheat kernel, grain of rice, even a peppercorn. Yet that seed can grow into a plant almost 12 feet tall, much larger than most herbs or vegetables. And in fact, it even looks like a small tree with birds nesting in its branches. Your eye starts to shrink and change shape as you age. The thing is, your eyeball is filled with clear jelly called vitreous humor, and that jelly never regenerates. As you age, it starts to liquefy, shrink, and pull away from the retina. And that's what causes flashes of light and floating spots. Most of the time, it's harmless, but sometimes it can tug too hard and cause retinal detachment. It's just a myth that the chameleon can change into a brick wall, plaid shirt, Nike swoosh, McDonald's golden arches, or even my logo. The reason is, its eyes can't detect fine details like brick outlines or wood grain. But also, it can only shift within a limited color range. So it can't produce pure white, denim blue, or any man-made colors like neon pink. So it can change colors, but it's kind of like how a light bulb works with a dimmer switch. An elderly man went in for an MRI. Problem is, no one, not even the man, knew that he had a tiny metal fragment in his eye. So when the scan started, he started to feel a sharp pain in his eye. The thing is, the MRI's magnetic field pulled the metal deeper, causing internal bleeding. He was pulled out mid-scan, and it turns out he was a former metal worker, and he unknowingly had a tiny shard in his eye. He survived, but lost vision in that eye. Octopus versus chameleon, which one has the best color shifting gear? Well, the chameleon shifts color within a limited color range, and it does that mostly for mood, communication, and temperature control. Basically, it's an organic mood ring, but the octopus, it's a biological shape shifter. It doesn't just change color, but it can also change its own brightness, texture, even shape. It uses the muscles in its skin to create bumps, ridges, and wrinkles. So it doesn't just look like a rock, it feels like one too. And it transforms itself mainly to camouflage and avoid predators. Most people don't know that honey is regurgitated bee barf. So the bee, it doesn't just collect nectar. It drinks it and stores it in its honey stomach. Inside its body, enzymes break down those sugars. Then the bee regurgitates the nectar into a fellow worker bee's mouth. And this second bee adds more of its enzymes and then passes it to another bee. And this happens over and over again. At some point, the bees spread the processed nectar onto wax cells. They fan it with their wings to evaporate water and thicken it. And then they seal it in wax. The most powerful vertical water breach is done by the great white shark. It can launch its 2,000 pound body entirely out of the water. It hits prey from below with enough force that makes the shark fly up 15 feet in the air, making it the most powerful breacher. But the fastest and highest breacher? Well, that title goes to the Mako shark. It can leap up to 20 feet straight out of the water at the speed of a standard torpedo. Playing basketball on Mars would feel like jumping underwater but landing on concrete. The thing is, Mars's air is a hundred times thinner than Earth's. No thick atmosphere means no cushion when you fall. And with just 38% gravity, your body floats longer but with way less control. So you drift mid-air, kind of like when you're underwater, but when you fall, you twist sideways from a simple layup and tear your joints when you land. That's why a week of games on Mars 
could wreck your body worse than an entire NBA season. Louis Vuitton started out as a homeless 13-year-old kid who ran away to Paris. By age 30, he saw that old travel bags had rounded tops and couldn't stack. So he invented the first flat top waterproof trunk. When the Empress of France bought his bags, she was a social influencer that caused his bags to become a luxury symbol. Smoking even one cigarette causes instant lung damage you can't fully undo. The thing is, your lungs are lined with tiny hairs called cilia. Their job is to clean out dirt and toxins. But cigarettes paralyze and kill them. And without cilia, tar and toxins flood your lungs. They literally turn your lungs black over time. And eventually, each breath will feel like breathing through a clogged vacuum. Some CLA can regrow if you quit, but that tar and deep scarring, those stay for life. One puff of vape can trigger chemical burns inside your lungs. The thing is, those oils and flavor chemicals inside e-cigarettes were originally designed for eating, not inhaling. So when you inhale it, what happens is, they coat your lungs like grease inside a pan. But your lungs weren't made to be greasy, right? So with long-term use, you get airway scarring and cellular death. And eventually, it's gonna feel like you're breathing through a straw forever. Reason why your snot is green? Well, when you get an infection, your neutrophils are your first responders. They rush to the front lines and spray toxic enzymes on the invading bacteria. Some even swallow the bacteria and melt it from the inside. But if the battle gets intense, your neutrophils go into kamikaze mode. They explode and release a sticky, deadly trap. It's like a spider web soaked in acid, meant to catch and kill. Well, that web contains a green, iron-rich enzyme, and that's what turns your snot green. If you have clear snot, that's totally normal. It's mostly water, salt, and protein. Yellow snot means your body's starting to fight something off. Your immune system's just gearing up. Green snot means the battle's already in full swing. Red snot, probably a burst vessel from blowing too hard. Brown could mean old blood or pollution, but if you have black snot, well, you don't want to miss the next video. Subscribe to hear what that means. Black snot is common among heavy drug users. The thing is, cocaine and meth, they constrict blood vessels. Basically, they cut off oxygen to your nasal tissue, and over time, we're talking tissue damage, scabbing, even tissue death and loss of smell. The result? You get crusty black snot. That's a mix of mucus, blood, dead tissue, and blood residue. Skittles all taste different, right? Wrong. They mostly taste the same. Here's a twist. Your brain is being tricked. It's not flavor doing the work. It's smell and color. You see your nose and eyes. They send signals and your brain fills in the rest. No scent, no color. They'd all taste just sweet. So if you're wondering why they did this, well, it's simple. It's cheaper and faster to make one base flavor and then change scent and color. This year, 2025, is the peak of the 11-year solar cycle, which means we're gonna see brighter, more intense auroras, even at lower latitudes, meaning places that usually don't see the northern lights, will get a chance to experience them this year. And the reason is, the peak of the solar cycle is when the sun emits more sunspots, solar flares, and stronger solar storms. And it's this increase in solar activity that causes auroras on Earth to be brighter and more frequent. If you want to remove a tattoo, you have to poop it out. And that's what laser tattoo removal treatment helps you to do. The thing is, when a laser shoots high intensity light impulses, the tattoo ink absorbs the laser energy, heats up, and then it shatters into pieces. This forces the cells that are holding the ink particles to release the tiny fragments, and then your immune cells called macrophages engulf the fragments and transport them away for removal. Your lymph nodes receive some of the medium-sized ones, and your kidneys and liver process the other fragments, and then you just flush them out of your system. Lion versus leopard, guess who wins? Well, the leopard can carry up a tree, prey that's twice his body weight. That's like you carrying one full-size refrigerator vertically up a tree. Lions can climb trees too, but they're much heavier and clumsier. But when it comes to bite power, the lion can bite at 1,000 PSI, which is more than twice the leopard's jaw force. Leopards don't hunt or fight in groups, but even if three to four lepers were to hypothetically team up against a lion, they'd still lose. A group of lion everyone knows is called a pride, right? But a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. A group of crows is called a murder. You've got a parliament of owls, a bloat of hippos, crash of rhinos, mob of kangaroos, and a clouder of cats. All scientifically accepted terms for each group of animals. We always see the same side of the moon, never the other side. And the reason is, the moon is tidally locked, meaning for every full orbit around the Earth, the moon rotates only once around this axis. 
And that's why we never see the other side, which is the far side of the moon. The reason why you shouldn't cut off a mole at home is because most likely you're going to remove just the top and not the mole root. So eventually it's going to grow back. But if a doctor removes it completely without any cells left behind, that mole is not going to grow back. But also, the doctor will typically send the mole to a lab, so you'll know earlier than later if it's skin cancer or not. Subscribe. Elephant feet are softer than your best sneakers. Most people think elephant feet are super hard with calluses since elephants are super heavy, right? But actually, the pads on an elephant's feet are very fatty and soft, and that's why it can detect vibrations from six miles away. Basically, it's like sensing footsteps across an entire city. And it can do that because the nerves on his feet are 10 times more sensitive than yours. When it stomps on the ground, it produces seismic signals and vibrations that other elephants can detect with their feet. Subscribe. Can you accidentally kill someone by incorrectly operating an automated defibrillator or AED? Well, when you attach it to a person in need, the device analyzes the person's heart rhythm. If the heart's beating normally, the device won't shock him. But if the device detects life-threatening irregular rhythm, then it's going to deliver an electric shock. Most AEDs can deliver three to five shocks on a full battery charge. Modern ones also have voice instructions. So all you have to do is just follow directions. Subscribe. If you had to lose one finger, which finger is the least important? Well, losing your thumb means you won't be able to grasp anything anymore. If you choose your pointer finger, that finger controls precision. So you don't want to choose that one. Your middle finger is responsible for grip strength and balance. The ring finger helps with coordination. Your pinky finger, well, it contributes the least to your overall hand function. It does help you grip, but its loss would be the least disruptive. Subscribe.